Good evening, I'm Rick Tillard. I'm Trish Close. Thanks for joining us tonight. New developments in Sunday's officer-involved shooting. Elias Ruiz was wearing a bulletproof vest when he was shot. In tonight's Top Story at 6, a closer look at his life and just how easy it is to get a bulletproof vest. The autopsy results in the Elias Ruiz case are in. Ruiz was shot and killed Sunday afternoon in an officer-involved shooting at his home. Now the medical examiner has revealed he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Today, when News 10 found out, those vests are easy to come by. I know that he was a young man who was dealing with some really emotional struggles. Tom Cole is the executive director of Kids Unlimited, and he first met Elias Ruiz when he joined the elementary basketball program. You know, ambitious and um, excited to be involved with something. Um, had a, you know, a lot of enthusiasm about being involved with basketball. But he says as he grew up, Ruiz faced some challenges, and in the months before his death, family problems were escalating not in liberty to discuss the details with, I know would change the opinion of, of anyone who was watching this to know some of the things that he was dealing with on a personal level. These personal issues may be the reason Ruiz put on a bulletproof vest before he faced police Sunday afternoon. The ballistic protection is not hard to come by. Well, anybody can buy them as long as you're not a felon or attempt to use them in a criminal activity. Bulletproof Body Armor is a company out of Arizona that sells the vests online. You know, it's the same thing as a gun, right? You know, you do a background check, you know, you don't know if somebody's not going to go home and blow somebody's head off, right? The question many in the community are asking is why would Ruiz have a vest? Cole says the young man was not involved in local gangs. Who was not, um, you know, I think struggled more with staying out of a gang than he did with um, wanting to join it. And I think... Um, He's another kid who, who really stayed focused on wanting to be something more. Cole says the last time he spoke with Ruiz, the young man was dealing with a deep emotional trauma. But he says even so, he still had plans to finish high school, go to college, and pursue a nursing career. You know, anyone that knew him, I think, would believe that he was capable of doing that. It's also worth noting Medford police say bulletproof vests, like other clothing, can block the electric shocks of a taser. That may be why the taser's police first used on Ruiz didn't work. The Ruiz, Ruiz family has started a memorial fund, and you can find that information on our website, ktvl.com. Covering your news, Caitlin Conrad, News 10. Here's what's next in this case. Oregon State Police are still investigating the shooting. Their findings will then go to the district attorney's office for a grand jury. We're told it could take weeks for a jury to be called. Of course, News 10 is following the story closely. You can get any updates on KTVL.com.